Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. So we're working on this front axle. <sighs> on this 800, that's all wore out. That whole bracket's wore out. Um, I don't... I don't like the idea of that putty in there. I don't think it would last long, not with all the, you know, back and forth and banging. The thing's already loose, so as soon as it starts moving, it'll just bang all that out. I'm sure I probably wouldn't get down around the block and she'd be out and, and wrecked. So, I am fortunately not going to live to see this having to be changed again. And uh, I highly doubt anybody will probably take the initiative to do it again. So, as much as I did. And, um... And I only noticed it when I jacked it up. I'm like, whoa, what's going on there? So I am going to weld it. It's going to be a real nightmare for whoever, if they try to do it again, to get it out. It should be good for a lot more years. And, uh, you know, because we put a new bushing and everything in, right? So I got her up here ready to go. It's going to be fun trying to get her mounted back to the tractor. Um, but I wanted to do it this way. So I push weight down on the bad good threads there we'll say and uh then yeah we're should be tight and then i have a gap and i'm gonna well closed there i was gonna do it on there but it's like the pulley's like right here so i'm like uh, i don't want to do that but i got her tightened in i had to enlarge in this little guy a bit in the new bracket thing even though that's not gonna matter now oh, that thing's even on there um, the only thing I'm not going to be able to do is probably weld this front one here. So, not good, but because of this pin, or sorry, the clip that's in behind this thing, that keeps it, I guess, from going that way. And it's not going to do that now either. I can't really get in there to weld that. And it is wore a little bit bigger in there, but anyways, I guess we'll just... I'll just drive on. Should clean up all this axle and stuff too, but you know what? She's a working tractor. We got some of the parts I know cleaned up, but uh, parts I kind of had to take off, but this I didn't. Yeah. Drive on. She's all good. Could give it a good wash maybe after when we get her apart. This had the front bumper attached to it, so this isn't really super tight here yet. Uh, I'm probably not going to put that back on because then it's going to take up too much more room. It'll be like way out to here in, in my building uh, container here. So I don't really want to do that. So I got the uh, welder pretty much ready to go here. Uh, I just got to get her plugged in. Open up this other door. This looks like it needs rubber. I really noticed that before, but that one's not the greatest. We'll open up this other door. We'll get the generator out. And we're going to weld that feller solid. Holy smokes, never come apart again. <laughs> and hopefully I got it the right way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. This holes mount there, and then those radius rods go that way. So that would really suck if I didn't get that right. But And afterwards, uh, I haven't greased this yet. Afterwards, this axle will still move this way. It's the radius rods that kind of hold, you know, it from doing this back and forth. So it will move, slide, 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 slide back and forth. So what I'm going to do then is, I've got some of this, uh, where did I put it here? Oh, it's on the table, I think. I'm going to try some of this high temp brake, silicone brake lubricant. It's good to uh, 550 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. 550 Fahrenheit. So, I mean, I could have probably put that on and then welded it, but I'll weld it first and then try to smush and squish some of that in there. And uh, hopefully this is going to work. And she'll be all welded up. All right, well, I gotta get the gen going. I gotta get the welder going here. And uh, boy, I gotta find a good place to ground to as well. I'm gonna have to maybe grind something somewhere to some bare metal. Ah, uh, darn it. Stupid grounds all the time, eh? Oh well. All right, let's get Mr. Champion going here. Hopefully he fires up.
go anywhere now. I didn't put a whole pile on the front here. I kind of burnt my paint, but I didn't put a whole pile on the front here because the uh, axle might have to slide back and forth on that uh, pin a little bit. So, but I'm going to put you upside down here. We got her well welded under there. She kind of started to melt through that pin on me. So I'm like, whoa, crap. But anyways, we got her on. Back this way, Bill. There we go. And uh, now the fun part of putting her on there. Yeah. Not too sure I'm looking forward to that. All right, I'm gonna let her down here and see where things go. This poor Jack is down. Kind of the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> oh boy. Kind of the way I wanted to wanted it to go, but not really. Um, okay. Let's see here. I don't know where I'm going to station use because I don't have to figure it out. Okay, with the wheels able to spin like this, it's going to make it a real nightmare. And I don't know if I can be able to get her back. I'm sure I can't do a little <laughs> He just wants to go wherever it wants. close here and then uh, I guess try to get the jack under it again oh boy. it's definitely heavy to the front here today. Um, okay. Wish I had a bit of a crane. We do have a mini X that might work. <laughs> Put some straps onto it. Hmm. Hmm. Well let me see what happens if I see if I can get this radius right going back this way. back a little bit just in case this thing uh, kind of decides to get a mind of its own which it probably will it probably should some movement in this thing, that's for sure. It'll be better than it was, hopefully. Now my uh, water pump's in the way. Holy smoke, it's just dribbling right off of me. really 
really close there. systems they used over the years for fastening oh for fastening this stuff down you know like the two end was the whole front end of that is pretty much the oil pan heavy duty cast iron oil pan Sweet. And I gotta figure out what size a nut that was again. Big feller. Okay, that's in uh, one and one and one sixteenth. Pretty big. There's so an awful lot of strain on the front of these, I would think. Oh, oh. yeah, this one was uh, trying to get it up from the bottom. supposed to get all hot and humid here again. It's been actually nice. The last wee while it's been really nice. Oh, it's smoked. I don't care much room for that one. Got it. Okay, I don't know what the foot pound torquages of this one is. Is ours is. It's probably large. So I got a large equipment for it. And if I left my generator run, I could have done this by air, but... Too bad I never painted the block, but I, I didn't really want to get into all that. Like I was saying, I really don't have a shop for doing that kind of stuff, right? Okay, I don't want to twist on them too too much because it is just sitting on a jack stand right now This one is interesting. I don't remember how I did that one now. That one, uh, okay. Let's see around maybe. Do that with that huge wrench. Where did it go? My huge wrench. Hopefully, his axle still moves. back and forth, we'll see. These uh, lock washers are so, so massive. They take a lot of extra turning to get them to squash down. Oh, 
I'll see if I can get oh boy, how am I gonna get that one? There must have been some way I did it. Get the axle up out of the way you need me. Wow, how did I do that? I just got to get something in there to pry. Let's maybe stick a towel down. Hmm. Why 
Why does that not want to move now? You can't get a good purchase in there on it. Because it's so smooth. Wow. That's not good. Well, I'm going to pull out the jack stand, I guess. Should be alright with that, but I think. back on here okay we got that rod back on that's the pin for but it actually had no uh, nut underneath which is kind of weird but I don't imagine that it's gonna cause any problem not quite lined up there so I guess the hammer will tell us didn't come out, I have to take it off of this track. There we go. That's pretty good. Holy smoke, I'm just, just dripping off me. Look at me. I don't know if you can see that, but it's friggin' hot out here. Holy smokes. Jeez. Wiping like crazy, it's not doing much. Alright, so our tie rod can come back down and uh, I'll have to tighten these up after. I want to get some... Holy smokes. and I gotta get some I gotta get some uh, clip thingies you know those clip thingies for it I'll put this one back down too it's a little bit of play in there but not new. Oh, wait a minute. I want to put a new one. I might have some here, maybe even. I don't know. I'll have to go look. Those are fairly big ones. All right. Well, we'll button this up here, hopefully. And uh, get a cotter pin in it, hopefully. Get away, mosquito. Holy jumping. I seriously just got started. Urgh. backwards. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't looked at that radius right. I'm like, what is going on there? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now, the trick is, let's see if we can get this in a spot. Oh boy. Uh, I actually might have to go on without a lock washer. I think I'm gonna have to do it without a lock washer. Weird as that seems, it should be still fun. I just don't think there's going to be room enough to get the little hole exposed here enough to put the cotter pin in. So. I might uh, that or have to do a flat washer maybe. Something like that, I wouldn't want to just rely on the uh, lock, lock washer to hold that. Okay, we're getting there now. It's almost probably got her there. Maybe I have to get her one more, or that might do. A little longer than I needed, but. Uh, We can make work. Okay, other side. Okay, this one's gonna be a little trickier, but we should be able to get it started here. Turn the wheel a bit, I guess, but... Uh, oh, that mosquito went right in my ear. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this wheel a little bit. Uh, I can't do it from down here. There we go. Stupid Skeeters. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this finished up soon here. Now, get in my brain. It's on this side. And these joints all seem good. Except for this one. Bite me on the butt, you little turd. I can't even see that. Okay, where is the dewy? Where's the oak water? Oh, what a dirt in there, I guess. I do have a hammer with me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, now it's loose, of course. <laughs> oh, he's fighting me on my butt again. What the heck? Now I got this one kind of crooked. That'll do. Cotter pin. Cotter pins. All right. So there's quite a bit of play in those radius rods. I don't know if I like that too much. 
I'm going to bolt up the other side though back to where it was. And we'll see how much plays in it. I might have to do something about that. Okay, I had to do a bit of gymnast work here. The radius rod was a bit too long going back that way, so I had to uh, push a bit on the front with my back and push on this rear tire. The bottom one here is a stud that came out. I'm just going to try to fire it back in. I think we're all right. Oh boy, okay. Ugh. Well, we're actually tight there now, uh, putting that in. It actually stretched everything out, I guess. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so we're looking for movement this way now. I don't think we've got it. Um, let me put the uh, wheel straight first. And then we'll uh, put the wheels down. This would be a good time to do these bearings. Have a look at them. Put her down. And what I'm looking for now is, oh yeah, we're nice and tight there now. There's no movement in these radius rods now, so that's good. That's what I was uh, a little concerned about. Oh, geez, sorry. Yeah, we're nice and tight there now. Okay. That should be good. Now it still looks to me like I've got the axle tilting forward kind of a lot. Let's move it back a little more here. So when I jack this up here, really like not to see this thing kind of flop if you know what I mean. Solid, sweet. Now, there is quite a bit of play I know in the spindles here. Quite a bit of play and in the burlings, so they probably need done too. Let's check this spindle over here. Quite a bit. Bearing's not so bad, but this side's really bad over here. So, I'd like to get this radiator mounted on, the, the water pump mounted on, it won't be today, but uh, nice to get this thing back together. Exactly where does that go now? Look like that. I believe. Okay, our next little feet. I'm going to put this down, I guess, just like that. Okay, the front's back together. It's looking more like a tractor now. There's the shroud all nicely painted up. Should be all good to go. Hopefully fits on the new rad here. Um, there, that's the new rad. I haven't opened it yet. We'll do that next time. Work on the water pump. We'll work on the water system, I guess we'll say. So, holy smokes, there we go. She's almost getting to be drivable again. So that's good. Now, this I should get down in here. Get it ready. Sort of ready for the water pump there. And uh, yeah, man, oh man, we spent a pile of money on this thing, but uh, well, she should be good now. All right, well, that's it for me today. So thanks again for watching. So yeah, next video, we'll probably get into water system stuff. Get her all the, all the, this guy back on. Hopefully it fits all right in the new uh, shroud and radiator and all that lovely stuff. I'm gonna have to make some mount pads though for that. 
And uh, I don't know what they're going to have for uh, mounts under that radiator. Uh, the other one had carriage bolts that came down from the inside. Bolted from underneath. I don't know what this one's going to be, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. That'll be our next video. And uh, yeah, we'll get her filled up with some water. Well, the hose is on, of course. I got new hoses for it. Brand new water pump sitting here, painted, ready to go. Fan was all cleaned up and painted. Uh, I've got the, it's going to look pretty cool actually because I did the shroud black and the little screws for the shroud red. So hopefully it's kind of the same as this and I don't have to re-drill holes. It just bounce, mounts back on, away we go. And we should be good. But anyways, that is I guess it for today. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Getting into some water. Anti-freezing water. Oh boy, that's going to be awesome.